Hey guys, it's me, Anisha Varani here. Uh, we're going to be interviewing Tony today. I'm filling in for Andre, who's on vacation. Uh, so, Tony, uh, where are you from? I'm from Lafayette, Louisiana, but I was born in Houston. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Very cool. Uh, so, why do you paint? Um, it was like it was a time in my life uh, where I really didn't. A lot of things was going wrong, so I found something right. My teachers was like nagging me to paint because I always drew. Okay. Um, but after like a while, my teachers just kept nagging me and kept nagging me and kept nagging me. And I was like, all right, I'm going to paint. So finally I did it and I've been doing it ever since. Just fell in love yeah, with it? Just fell in love with it. <laughs> so uh, to you, what makes a good painter then? Um, I'm more of a realism slash abstract okay. kind of cat individual. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, but I mean... Art is, art is everything, you know, like the whole entire earth is art, everything is art, so just uh, a concept, any kind of concept could be art. You could draw a line and it'd be art, so it really, you know. It's just up to you, right? Yeah, to <laughs> Whatever individual. you call yeah. art. That's really cool. Um, so uh, tell me about some of your favorite painters and uh, why are they your favorite? My favorite painter is most definitely Michelangelo, hands okay. down. There's <laughs> nobody outside of that <laughs> Michelangelo fanatic. Um, but uh, most definitely, I like him because of uh, the Sistine Chapel. Uh, his, a lot of things that he does is theological. Okay. Um, but in a sense, some of it is like wrong, like theologically, but I, but I do enjoy his artwork. Like he's an awesome artist. Like, and I don't know, I just love to do I just love his artwork. <laughs> Have you ever tried to like maybe duplicate what he's done? Actually, um, I was blessed to have an opportunity to do a painting in Royal Oaks okay. um, off of Westheimer. Mm -hmm. uh, it was like 50 feet in the air. I was on a, sca on a scapula. No. Yes? No. <laughs> I don't know something. What called. <laughs> but I was on something extremely high in the air. And uh, I was scared. I was, I was freaked out. But I felt like Michelangelo because I was painting on my back. I was like, so this is Michelangelo. Doing. I, I, I so you get to live his, his yeah. life in a, you know, one day. That's pretty cool. So um, I know you were at Art Crawl this year. Uh, describe some of your work that was on display there. Um, one of the pieces was a, a girl um, and her mother. Um, and she was, her hand was, was going towards her mother's face and her mother's hand was going towards her daughter's face. Mm -hmm. And basically my point of the picture was, um, wow, look at who I'm gonna be from the daughter and like, wow, look where I came from, from the mother. So that was like the concept of one of the paintings. Okay. It was halfway realism, halfway abstract. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, then I had a self-portrait that I wanna let everybody know. It's not for, I didn't do the self-portrait to be like, ha, I could paint myself. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, like, it wasn't like that. It was just, I was inspired to paint myself painting reality. So basically the pictures of me painting on a canvas, of me painting what's going on in the background. So that was like awesome. I had a couple of other pieces, but everything was basically like faces, so. Very cool, yeah. very cool. Um, how is it uh, like to be a young artist in Houston? Ah, I love city lights. <laughs> All right, so do you get a lot of your inspiration from Houston? Yeah, I think that, you know, most definitely Houston, the vibe, this area, you know, prayerfully I'll be in this area one day. <laughs> where it's actually, you know, it's like a vibe. It's like, it's, it's a slow vibe, but it has some kind of tempo. So, okay. yeah, most definitely. Where do you mainly go to get your inspiration from? Do you just walk around the streets? At, or? Um, Tumblr. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Deep Thought. Um, just researching art history class, most definitely, um, and just, just yeah, like you said, pretty much it's like walking around, like just seeing something. Like I took, I, I took a picture, just a random picture downtown, like upward at a building. So I was like, and I don't know, it's awesome because the the way the camera did it, it seemed like the stars was falling. So that was like inspiration <laughs> for me to do something abstract. So. Okay. Yeah. So do you normally just, do you take a picture and then you just kind of put it up and then you start painting it? Yeah. Or do you just, like it's a mental picture? Nah, it's, it's, uh, the background, 10 times out of 10 times out of 10 is usually abstract. Okay. Uh, but the individual, most definitely. I would, I would take a picture of you and I would go to FedEx Kinko's who, they really suck at printing <laughs> out stuff. But I would go to them and then they would print it out and then I would paint it. I would scale it and then, you know, paint it. Okay, very cool. 
All right, so now we're going to get to some really serious questions, okay? First one is, um, what's your favorite ho holiday-themed movie? My favorite holiday-themed movie? Yep. The Family Man or The Family Guy, I think. Like, Fam is it The Family Guy? Family Guy? Or like Family the show? Man? No, or it's like <laughs> Family Man. Family Man. I think it is. You I think know who's it in it? Like <laughs> it's, this, it's this rich guy, mm -hmm. and uh, it's this, he runs into this bum. But the bum turns out to be like an angel or something, and he puts him back in his life had he, if he wouldn't have taken the job or something. I don't know what it's called. I think it's the Family Man or something. I don't know, but it's awesome. I can't <laughs> think right. of the. I can't. Oh, the guy that does all the um, the movies where they find out, you know, about the Illuminati and masonry kind of stuff about the dollar. Nick, is yeah. it Nicolas Cage or? I don't know. It's like with a chicken with a dude, and they like, sir, I don't know. But, yeah. but the family man, that's, that's, yeah. that's your hot. All right. Uh, next one is, it's really serious, all right? If you could steal any painting, just one painting from any museum, any museum collection, which one would it be and why? The, the Madonna and like destroy it. It's like horrible art. Horrible. Uh, I, w I think I would. I would move the Sistine Chapel in my backyard. Like, <laughs> nice. Hands down. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm just stuck on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So tell us what's your favorite big word? My favorite big word is expiation. All right. <laughs> or atonement, whichever, whichever is the same thing. So and why do you pick that word? Is I it? pick that word because it's my belief. Okay. Atoning, standing in the gap for, taking up the wrath of. Very so, nice. Right? Yeah. Well, thank you, Tony, for um, being on the show with us. Uh, do you have anything to tell our audience? Uh, you can find me on Facebook at why not follow Christ at Richard, uh, dot com. You can find me on Tumblr at why not paint my word. That's Y N O T. Um, and on Twitter, A underscore Young Leader. And contact these people if you need to contact me. Awesome. Thank you, Tony. No problem. <laughs> Make sure you guys check us out at Facebook.com slash the Fuha and YouTube.com slash 1394 too. We'll see you guys later.